Today we're going to be showing you how to set up your Real Flight Evolution Simulator with your Edge TX radio. Let's get started. First thing, we're going to create a new model. And then we're going to go through a wizard script. So then once we click wizard, we're going to select plane. And then we're going to go through a series of prompts. So it wants to know, does the plane have a motor? Yes, it does. Do you want a safety switch with a simulator model? You really don't need one. So we're going to hit no. We're going to page over. Does this model have ailerons? It will, but we only need one channel of ailerons, so we're going to change that to one channel, but two servos with a Y cable. Does your model have flaps? Because in the simulator you'll probably have more advanced models than you would have in real life. You can go ahead and check this, and it'll just go ahead and pre-program that, so you don't have to program, program that later. We're going to page over, and this is your elevator, your tail stuff, so we're going to say, okay, page over, and... We'll go ahead and say yes, we've got retracts, and that switch is fine. We can change that later. And then we've got, we're not going to do expo because we can program that all in the simulator. Um, so there's no need for that. Page over. Okay, that's our settings. Now, if you're good with that, you're going to have hold the jog dial and hold return to exit. So now we've got our new plane. We're going to go ahead and just we'll click once the model button, and then we're going to name this model. I'm going to use the touch screen for this. So we'll go ahead and change that. We're going to do sim test. Boom. And then that's good. If we want, we'll go ahead and put an image with it. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. So that is uh, that's our model now. We're going to go ahead and uh, click model again. And we're going to go to the mixes tab. So this is all of our mixes. Um, so we've got your elevator, all your, your sticks. Your stick inputs. So you got Avon elevator throttle rudder, and then these are what you need to have if you want to use it with the simulator. Otherwise, when you're trying to set this up in the simulator for like your flaps and retracts and things like that, you'll need these past the channel four. You'll need gear, flaps, and uh, maybe smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and add another mix. We're gonna name this mix. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select a source, and the source is gonna be this is gonna be smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and Click the switch we're going to use, we're going to use SF, and then we're going to name this, and we're going to name it um, Smoke. So we've got Smoke is on a two position, um, and that's all you need to name it and choose to switch, which is your source. So once you've done that, you're good to go, and uh, we just need to make sure we have what we want. I think Smoke, Gear, and Flaps, and we'll go ahead and make sure that, so S Gear is on SD, so that's this switch right here, and that works just fine for me. And flaps is on, I like to have that on SB. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Change that to SB. So there we go. And then we're ready to go plug into the simulator and come configure it in real flight. Plug the radio in via the USB port on the top of the radio and then select USB joystick from the pop-up menu. Okay, now that we've got our controller plugged in and we have the simulator open, what we need to now do is calibrate our control. And as you can see, we've got the control services are all deflected in a funky direction, and uh, your radio may not even be working at all right now. So what we need to do is we need to go into the, we need to press escape. So we're gonna go to escape, and then we're going to go to settings, and then select controller and configure controller. Now that we've got this, we're gonna go into the uh, calibrate, and this is going to be, you might have some different ones. It might automatically come up with uh, your radio. Chances are it won't, but it might. It depends. What we're going to do, it doesn't really matter what profile you choose. Just click one, and then we're going to calibrate this. And it says to center your center your throttle stick. And uh, it may not look quite right on here. Like, even it's not going to accurately display your sticks. That's okay. We'll fix that here in a minute. So now that we've got this, you're just going to move all of your... You're going to move your main, your throttle, elevator, aileron, and rudder, and then uh, all your switches that you've got, and uh, just to make sure everything is configured, and it knows the range of this. It's kind of like calibrating your throttle. So once you've got that, then we're going to click Finish, and this, it's okay. We don't really need to calibrate all of them. We don't need all eight of the axes, um, so this is not a big deal. So now that we've told the simulator all of our what our radio says, we have to actually edit and say which does which. So right now, like my Aileron stick moves the mode. So if I move my Aileron stick right now, you can see channel eight mode is moving. That's not right. So what we need to do is we're gonna click on dial. We're just gonna click on um, for Aileron, 
and then this is what we're gonna actually use. So we're gonna click on this and move your our aileron stick. So now it's assigned aileron to the proper channel. So now we're gonna do an elevator, move our elevator stick, and then throttle and rudder. And so that's our four main stick inputs. And then we're also gonna have obviously some of our switches. So we will have, so for elevator and dual rates, I just move whichever switch you uh, had planned on using for that. So there we go. And then I'm gonna move, assign my flaps switch. This is typically a three position. And then you can have smoke two. I'm not sure that I've got smoke switch enabled or not. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that is what we've got for uh, the different switches. And it depends. Some planes will need all of these to be calibrated. Most of them need the, only the first seven or eight of these for you to use all the airplanes in real flight. So now what we want to do though is we've got this. Now this is our reverses. And I can right now see when I throttle up, this throttle decreases. That is not what we want. So I'm going to disable that reverse with by disabling this little check, this little X here. And I do not think this is the right direction for my elevator, so I'm going to go ahead and deselect that too. And this will vary. You'll just have to play with this until you've got it. And uh, since we're creating a new profile, we're going to go ahead and click Save As. And we're going to name this whatever we want. This is a TX16. So we're going to do that. And this is going to be our test because I already have one of these set up. But TX16S test. Okay. And now it's going to save that for everything. And if we go back to this, we have this. And we can actually go back. It doesn't hurt to calibrate it again. So now that we've actually got everything configured. And then we're just going to move the sticks again. And they should look like they're doing the right thing this time. And there we go. It's okay. Yes. And you're going to click OK. And here we go. And there you have it. And everything should be working properly. So that is, this is just a very simple plane. This only has four channels that are needed. But if we have a plane that's more like a, say we need a retract switch and things, let's find the E-Flight P51. All right, so this is the E-Flight P51. And so this thing, right now you can see, so if I move my flap switch, we have our flaps down, up, down, and then we have, so we have two notches. There's first notch, second notch, and then all the way up. And then we also have our gear. So you can see, you can get off the ground, and your gear goes in. So that is how you do this in real flight evolution. It's a little bit different in 9.5S, so I'll show you that now. All right, so now to do this in Real Flight 9.5S, it is actually a little bit simpler. The menus are laid out in a more easy to see manner. So for this, all we gotta do is, uh, rather than clicking Escape, we can just click Simulation, and then we're gonna click Select Controller. And this should look just the same as what we did on Evolution, just how we access the menu is a little bit different. So we need to just calibrate all of our inputs. So we're going to go into the menu, select Controller, and we are going to calibrate all of our inputs so that we can then assign those later. And we don't need to calibrate all the axes. And we're going to select, and we're going to assign the aileron to the aileron um, input and the elevator to the elevator input and so on for all the inputs on down the line. And then we are going to save it as TX16S test. And once we've done that, we are going to give this a try. Okay, and our elevator's reverse. So I go up elevator and the elevator goes down. So let's go ahead and edit that. So edit, and then we're just going to just mess with these reverses. I can see their elevator, that. And since we have TX16S test, we can just click save this time. Close. Okay. All right, now everything needs to be going the right direction, except our rudder isn't moving. I must have forgot to set it up. No worries. All right, rudder. There we go. Save. And we should be good to go now. And there you have it. So that is on a simple four channel plane. This thing doesn't have any flaps or uh, retracts. So now let's go and get a model that does. All right, so we'll click on this. Now, so now we've got this P51. Let's bring this a little closer. And you can see I can move my flap switch and the flaps go down. So there's two notches. There they are up. And then I've also got my landing gear. So you can see, got my landing gear, they retract. 
And uh, let us know in the comments if you've got any issues or questions, and let us know if you want a video about how to import planes into Real Flight. But uh, until next time, we'll see you in the next video.